So in this video, we are going to see how to construct a BCD counter. Already we have seen mod two, mod four, mod eight, and mod sixteen counter. So till now, this is a mod uh, sixteen counter. So for example, you can come from here. It's now it starts from zero. Now let me change one, two. Three, four, five, six. So on each clock pulse, it is during that lowering edge, falling edge, it changes. Yes, you see now it counts. Right, all one. Now again, when I press this, it changes to zero. Now this is a mod sixteen counter. Now the same mod sixteen counter. I want to. Convert this as a mod ten counter, which is nothing but a BCD counter, which counts from say here zero 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 till one zero one zero. So this is what uh, after this one zero one zero. Uh, sorry, if it is mod ten counter, it has to count up to Nine. Then, because from zero to nine, so it is uh, nothing but one zero zero one. So up to one zero zero one only it has to come. So what we have to do is ten. We have to take, but when it reaches ten, it automatically start counting from zero. So that is what we have to. So now what we have to do is this is uh, the last flip flop that is this fourth flip flop and this one is for this flip flop. But this output we have to connect it to an AND gate and the output of the AND gate should be given to the clear signal so that when it reaches when this combination takes place for this bit and this bit one takes place uh, all the flip flops are cleared and the count starts again from zero zero zero. That is what our aim. So now what we have to do is we have to connect uh, the fourth flip flop and the second flip flop to an AND gate. So first let us do that. So AND gate, let us take an AND gate. Since it is east facing, I will let me convert it into west facing. It's now I'm giving the input. So when this is one, when I want to stop, when I want this to count only up to 10 counts, that is from 0, 0, 0, 0 to 1, 1, 0, 0, 1. So after this, it will count to 1, 0, 1, 0. So when it reaches, it will count up to this. And when it reaches this, it automatically, it, this output will not come. But instead, uh, the, all the flip flops are cleared and it comes to start from 0, 0, 0. This is what our aim. So for that, what we have to do is we have to take the 10th count, 10 count. Uh, and for that, whichever is 1, uh, result 1, that we have to give it as an input to an AND gate. And the output of the AND gate can be given as a clear signal for all the flip flops. So this last one is the clear signal. There are three signals. This is clear and this is uh, enable and this is preset. There are three uh, inputs here. So you have to give the connection to the last one which is nothing but clear. So now oh, well, let me give the clear signal. So when the output is one, when both are one, this and this, then it will make this go oh, all the flip flops to be clear and it's again starts. Now we'll check the output. See, initially it is zero zero. Now it counts, the counting starts. It's seven. Now it is eight. It's nine. So see, it has reached one zero zero one. After that, only this has to come. The ten, that is one zero one zero, should not come. See here. Yes. When it reaches, uh, the AND gate 
signal it gives one which is given as an clear signal so all the flip flops are turned to zero again the count starts from that so now we have reached our aim that is bcd counting it is from 000 to 1001 so from 00 to 1001 it 10 counts so 11th that is this is actually 11th count but uh, it implies 10 so this combinations we only we have to, not this we have to take the next combinations and make that as an input as RAND gate whose output will be given as an input for the all the flip flops. Now let us suppose the same thing can be converted for a mod 11. So which case 1011. So if you take this, it has to count from 000 to 1011. So the next count we have to take and this one, the one which occurs, that we have to give it as an input for the RAND gate. Now already we have given one one. The last one also, if you give the input for this AND gate, let me give it. Now you can check your output. It counts up to one zero one zero. So it changes the it clear. It clears the flip flop only when it reaches one zero one zero. One zero one one. Now we'll see that. Yes. I pause till that seven, eight, nine, ten. See one zero one zero it has done. Then when it will not reach this one zero one one. When it go to the next phone, automatically it gets clear. Now the same way you can build mod five, mod six, or any count you can build. So for example, let me build uh, mod five. Mod five is zero one. 0, 1. So when it reaches this, it has to uh, quit. That is from 0, 0, 0. How it has to count? 0 to uh, 0, 1, 0, 0. So it has to count from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 0, 0. So when it reaches this, 0, 1, 0, 1, it has to stop counting from this. So now how to do that? So what you have to do is you have to select this this flip flop. It is the third and one. So let me remove this. First let me remove this. So zero one. So this is one. So let me give the input here. This is connected. And then you leave this and this first one. So let us get it. Now, so 0, 1, 0, 1. So when it reaches this, it will start counting from this. Now let us check this. This is a mod 5. Now I have made this as a mod 5 counter. 1, 2, 3, 4. After that, it has to reset. Yes, see? It has reset. So the same building code, just by giving changing the input based on that what we want, we can convert the same uh, counter to be a mod 1, 2, 3, etc. Whatever counter we can do.